Hi guys, this is Maluchip and welcome back to Dauntless. Today it's Wednesday, today the patch notes for 0.6.9 are out, the patch notes for the new behemoth are here, and the patch notes for a new hunt pass are here. The hunt passes are following up uh, grandly one after the other, uh, they're keeping it going uh, smoothly. It's not only the real events like we had winter right now, so... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to what they're gonna bring in the new uh, in the new hunt pass. Um, I do have to say that, well, you guys probably the ones that really watch uh, all my videos. You heard me uh, rampage a little bit. I think this is the first time I actually uh, was a little bit mad uh, about the game. So yeah, as you can see, I made it to tier six, but I haven't played Goodbye. since. Um, Mainly also because I started playing an old game again. Uh, I had a lot of friends that told me they were gonna start playing again. So yeah, uh, if you wonder what game it is, it's World of Warcraft. Uh, I used to play it on a private server for seven years or something. And yeah, the entire guild was coming back together to play once more. So I couldn't leave out. So I've been sticking a lot of time in there. But that doesn't mean that I don't like this game anymore or that I don't play this game anymore. So yeah, without further ado, let's check out the patch notes for this week and let's see what they're going to bring us. So yeah, Sunday we already talked about the new behemoth that's coming, uh, well, this evening or, or tomorrow evening. I'm not really sure when they are going to bring the patch notes up. It might actually be this evening as well. So new behemoth uh, Boreas is coming uh, to Dauntless. We got a Hunt Pass Season 3, we're looking in that in a second, but first we're gonna see the latest patch notes, release OB 0.6.9. So let's take a look, OB 0.6.9 kicks off Hunt Pass, Overgrowth unleashes Boreas on the Maelstrom and introduces a new loadout screen and revamps the hammer. So actually pretty, pretty big actually, so yeah, new to Dauntless. The Dreadfrost Boreas has made its chilling presence known in the Maelstrom. But where is this dire lesser counterpart? Theories abound, but only one thing is certain, it needs slaying. Round up your toughest team and your strongest gear, this one doesn't fight alone. Learn more about the Boreas on the Dauntless blog. Slayers who face the Boreas in combat will gain access to its weapons, armor and a, re a repeater prism. Use them wisely. New Iceborne cells are now avail uh, officially available. Equip them to earn the Iceborne perk, which grants, in which grants increased defense when your health gets low. Higher levels of this perk grant a lifesteal. So that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, the lower you go, uh, basically you start gaining, uh, gaining more HP again. Uh, the rose color days of Saint Bonds are over, replaced by rain and a sudden surge of plant life. Gregario has responded as only he can with an all new hunt pass overgrowth. Read the season 3 blog for all the details. It's got what plants crave. So yeah, we'll check into the new hunt pass after we went through the patch notes. As a part of the continued UI overhaul, a new loadout screen has been added to Dauntless. Learn all about the ins and outs in our recent blog post and be sure to let us know how it feels. We will continue to update and improve it going forward. The citizens of Ramsgate have decided to retire notes, the currency we co uh, currently have. We will be replacing notes with a new coin based currency called Rams. Slayer's existing notes will be changed for Rams at a 1 1 rate. If you have 500 notes, you'll get 500 Rams. I'm not sure why this is. I'm not sure why they replace the name uh if it still does the same um it might it might start doing something differently who knows so please note that there may be places that they are still referring to, refer to as notes some people are having a hard time adjusting keep in line with our ongoing combat revamp we've replaced the existing hammer combos finisher Concussive, concussive Aether Blast with a new and monstrous Aether Slam. Try it out, score some Aether Slams and jam on over to the Dauntless forums to let us know how it feels. We'll be working on more, weapon and more weapons and changes in the, new, in the next few patches. New weapons. More weapons. More weapons. It's more weapons, new weapons. Are they gonna bring in something different? Because the last last weapon we actually had was the repeaters, and that was that's been a while actually. So 
Yeah, kind of wondering. Uh, what are they gonna bring in? Are they gonna bring in? I don't know. There's there's so much they could bring in. Uh, bring bring in a. We have hammers. I wanted to say hammer, but we have a hammer. Never mind. We'll see what they uh, bring once they uh, show it to us. Hammer changes the Aether Slam. Hammer's concussive Aether combo finisher has been replaced with the Aether Slam. To perform an Aether Slam, press the def default uh, RMB Y at the end of any Hammer Strike combo. Aether Slam is a powerful overheat strike that deals damage directly to the tar target and expands the entire Hammer Clip to create a wave of explosions that deal additional damage. That kind of sounds good. <laughs> really looking forward to see how that looks uh, with the new... Well, they've, they've been working really hard on uh, the visual effects of everything. So I'm really looking forward to how uh, the wave of explosions actually looks with the new... Uh, the Aether Slam. Uh, striking directly with an Aether Slam will also completely reload your clip with Aether Charged Ammo, a new empowered ammo type. Aether Slam may per be performed even when the clip is empty, but no explosions will be created. Doing so still confers to the benefit of the direct damage reload. Aether Charged Ammo improves the damage and stagger benefits of all ammo based attacks, including the concussive Aether Standing, Evasive Blast, Primed Attacks and the Aether Slam Explosions. Concussive Aether the standing version of the Concussive Aether default RMBY has been reworked. Player may now hold down the default RMBY button to charge the hammer's Concussive Aether, loading multiple shells in from the clip over time. Releasing the held button will immediately fire all loaded shells, dealing damage and interrupting behemoths where apl applica ap applicable <laughs> when it can be applied. That's basically the easier uh, <laughs> way to say it. Loading more shells increases both the damage and the range of his attacks of this attack. Starting his attack will now align the hammer muzzle with the camera face direction, allowing for quicker turns and interrupt setups. While charging, the player can aim can aim the direction of the blast by adjusting the camera direction. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one. So even if your character is facing to the left. If you adjust your camera, it will fire in the line of the camera direction. That's pretty good. That's that's actually really good. Um, I know this is a fact with um, Molten Edge, where you actually need to run forward towards the behemoth, because even if you're looking at him, uh, your shot that you can do, like the the uh, ranged attack you can do with it, it will it, it will actually fire towards the direction your body is facing but not where you are looking so it actually actually a pretty good uh, change in there i hope it also applies uh, of course on uh, the special hammer while charging the player can uh, yeah, yeah while charging the player can aim the direction of the blast by adjusting the camera direction Concussive Aether will fire automatically if all remaining ammo is loaded. Concussive Aether can be cancelled by rolling, refunding the loaded ammo. That's actually a pretty good one as well. Bad ammo. Prior to this patch, players would receive bad ammo when failing an active reload or letting the reload expire. This has been removed. There is now only good ammo. Non-Aether charged ammo and Aether charged ammo. The time penalty for failing an active reload or letting it expire has not changed. Okay, that's actually a pretty big change for the hammer. That's actually pretty good. They made a really big change for, for the sword, bigger than they did with the pike. And now they're bringing in a new new uh, yeah hammer change. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fun. I'm interested to see uh, what they are going to bring to the table. Quality of life. The Molten Heart buff pickup visual effects will no longer appear to fade away before the actual pickup object expires. Inspiring pylon text has been changed to clarify its effects. Uh, it increases damage done by slayers, not damage done to slayers. When interacting with the middleman, you can now click to select the cell and click a link. Click again to deselect a cell. This eliminates the need to choose a different cell in order to remove the original. That's also really good. Uh, the hammer model should now be more accurately shown how much ammo is left in the hammer clip. Hmm. 
Do they mean the the hammer? Because you can you can check on the top, right? On the top, you have the the hammer with the four icons where you're. So the model of the hammer is is gonna change now, or more accurately? Yeah, I'm gonna need to see what they well actually see what they mean with that because. Yeah, my mind is going all over the place again, and I might be saying stuff that is incorrect right now. So, fix the bug that made it difficult for gamepad using Slayers to dye their gear. Uh, yeah, we all want to be able to dye our gear really easily, and gamepad users, yeah, uh, it's coming to uh, console pretty soon, actually. So, yeah, some finishing touches on uh, the gamepad uh, bugs is definitely something that we will see in the next uh, few weeks, probably. Finished removing the inventory screen. Cell dusting is now accessible exclusively through the middleman. Gear and power levels will now correctly update after upgrading gear. Fix the bug that prevented slayers from upgrading a piece of gear twice in a row. Slayers should no longer have to select an unrelated piece of gear before returning to the piece they wanted to upgrade. Fix the bug that it caused slayers with large noses to clip through this Vans hood. A great nose may be an index of a great soul. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, slayers will no longer be plagued by Xilia's whispers when they spawn into the city of Ramsgate. Fix the bug that it caused the middleman's cell exchange to enter a weird state if slayers exited in the middle of a button press. The Austin repeaters can now be transmogged. Oh, that's a that's a fun one. That's a fun one. Uh, fix the bug that it caused gamepads to skip. Oh, excuse me. That could ga uh, cause gamepads to skip over the loadout button in the menu. Fix the bug where equipped items could not be selected in the Smith upgrade menu. And that's actually well for new players. That's actually pretty good because new players are gonna. Um, always increase your gear until they get to the maelstrom and are able to farm for the highest end gear. Uh, so yeah, being able to upgrade your gear that you are carrying at that moment is a good benefit for the new players. Uh, fix an issue where primed hammer attacks were taking the next shell's ammo quality instead of the current one. In cases where it was your last cell, you'd gain no bonus to priming. Polished shock and blaze visual effects. Fix the bug where hammer clips would not display correctly if the hammer was transmogged to one with a different clip. Improved the cell dusting flow, fixed some assorting bugs and improved the overall functionality. In tandem with this, we've reworked the Aether Dust received screen to be less intrusive after dusting a cell. Increased the oomphness for flare explosions and the sound effect oomph. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fun one. So yeah, when you pop your flare now, it should make a bigger sound. Added a new pop-up screen to inform slayers that transmogging will consume a transmog stone if they are not transmogging to a cosmetic skin. Okay, yeah, good good warning out there for the people that don't put uh, well, they get the uh, stones maybe through the uh, the events, uh, the hunt passes. Uh, and if you only have a limited amount, uh, it's definitely good that you get a warning for like uh, Be careful. You only have three left and you are gonna use one uh, Backing out of the die or transmog panel in the loadout menu will now revert any unsaved changes Fix the bug that caused razor chroma key bindings from displaying properly Fix the bug that it caused the transmogs to fail a visual obstruction from explosion visual effects has been reduced and the smoke will disappear more quickly as it, is get, as, as it gets closer to the camera. Both of these changes should improve overall visibility. Behemoth's elemental resistance, weak and strong, should now be visible in the airship ready room. Nizaga and the Ramsguard scout gear will now be affected by movement physics, reduced the starch application by 50% and added a first iter iteration of rumble to gamepads. Not really sure about that. You may feel a tremor when you get hit or uh, when you hit or get hit. Please note this is still in development and may have some bugs. If you encounter any, please let us know. Rumble, that's vibration, right? Isn't that vibration? 
Yeah, I think so. It might be wrong, but I think I, I think they're talking about <laughs> vibration. You feel a tremor. That's when you're you're co yeah you yeah it, yeah <laughs> it's vibration. Known issues, all current known issues can be found on the forums. So pretty big list. There are some definitely some changes that are gonna make a massive uh, impact. The hammer changes, of course, is one of them. Uh, the new currency, not really sure if it really is necessary uh, to just because it's a one one. So 500 notes will still be 500 notes. It will just be called 500 ramps. So not sure if that has any at all. Well, yeah. Yeah, maybe later on um, it might actually do something different. New loadout screen. Uh, always fun as well. Okay, so those were the patch notes. And then Hunt Pass Season 3. Let's take a look. March 11th, 2000. Oh, well, March the 13th. I need to stay better up to date. Uh, Hunt Pass Season 3 in brief. Season 3 Overgrowth begins on March 13th. So it should start today. So actually, if it is correct, the patch is going live today then. Uh, title rewards have been reduced. Transmog rewards have been increased. Hunt Pass Elite Track costs 1000 Platinum. Earn 500 platinum by completing all levels. Yeah, we uh, we noticed this last one uh, in the previous uh, <laughs> in the previous uh, season. Overgrowth. The shattered isles are going green. In Ramsgate, moss has soaked up the last of the snow snow melt and crept into the city seams. Vines clamber up pillars. Leaves unfurl like banners, and a vegetable perfume hangs in the air. But is this sudden bloom a natural one, or is there something etheric at work? Emerald leaves. This season's currency is as green as its team. Uh, we can see an actual fallen leaf on the floor with an etheric uh, flame on top of it. Emerald leaves are the XP for your hunt pass. Earn them by completing challenges, collecting seasonal items, and breaking those behemoth parts. Here is how much each activity will get you. The activities and the rewards. Completing a daily challenge, 5 emerald leaves. Complete a weekly challenge, 150 emerald leaves. Collect an aether sprout, 5 emerald leaves. The aether sprouts are the 10 collectibles in the city, I presume. And break a behemoth part, 0 to uh, 30 emerald leaves. So yeah, breaking behemoth parts. If you break five proper ones, you can already have maxed out, of course. You can already have the same reward as a weekly challenge. So that's actually pretty good and a really good way to farm out those emerald leaves. Not sure how many leaves you've earned. Check your hunt pass status at any time by talking to Gregario. He's the Ramsgate citizen in the stylish purple suit. Aether sprouts. Grass isn't the only thing growing in Ramsgate. Nestle... Nestled amidst the mosses and vines is a brand new collectible, the Aether Sprout. These large pod-like growth emit a gentle glow that seem to say, pick me. So yeah, these are the Aether Sprouts. Uh, look pretty good. And as you can see, yeah, they're probably, they are the collectibles in the city. As we can see the city here, a little bit covered with vines in the back and over here as well. So yeah, really looking forward to see how Ramsgate will change again. Each ram, uh, Aether Sprout you collect in Ramsgate will earn you 5 Emerald Leaves. Collect up to 10 per day for a total of 50 Emerald Leaves. Really, really easy way to get those 50 free points. Well, they're all free points as long as you work for them, right? And if you work for them, are they still free? I don't know. Climate change. The City of Sun, Snow and Omnius Aether Storms can finally check, uh, check another weather condition of its list, Rain. As I look outside my window right now, Belgium is rainy as heck. With overgrowth comes showers, and with showers comes new excuses to dress for the weather. Take advantage of those dust rider coats and hats and try to stay dry. Season 3 rewards. We've taken a, wren a wrench to the hunt pass rewards and banged season 3 back into shape. Look forward to fewer titles, more creative transmogs and all kinds of currencies from platinum to ace chips. Fewer titles. You say too many titles. We say you are right. This season we've dialed back the number of titles in Hunt Pass from 9 to 2 and placed them near the end of each track. This means that in order to earn your first title this season, 
you need to reach level 45. The second title requires you to make it all the way to the end of the elite track. Ah, okay, so there is going to be one title at level 45 in the basic track, and then the second track is going to be at the total at the end, uh, so basically at 50 then uh, of the elite track. A feat worth bragging about. Bonus, all levels that reward titles also rewards other prizes, so there's always more to look forward to. The two titles in Overgrowth Hunt Pass will be Wildlander, level 45, and the Spirit of the Forest, level 50. Wildlander is actually a pretty, pretty nice one. Spirit of the Forest, actually, also. More transmogs. We want the Season Hunt Pass to be one that's worth fighting through. Not just because there are 50 levels and you're a hardcore completionist, but because the rewards are actually worth the effort. Now you're talking. That's why this season Elite Track contains a full set of weapon and armor transmog. So that's actually pretty good. And these are the set. The female set looks amazing with the branches. Really looks like a night elf. Yeah, I've been playing World of Warcraft, so uh, most most references in my head right now go to <laughs> go to War to uh, Warframe. Uh, Warframe to World of Warcraft. <laughs> the Far Slayer weapon transmog set is earned piece by piece over the course of the Elite track, culminating in the unlock of our very first transmog for the Ostium Repeater's Wild Cry. Ah, uh, the Repeater cosmetics are in the Elite track. Well, I might have thought about it. They actually look pretty good. They actually look pretty good. I love the leaves on here, like the handle getting green and then darker to bluish yeah it looks really looks like a a, a a branch from a tree twisting all out yeah really nice complete the pass and you'll complete the set platinum <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm i'm silently gonna caress my throat and <clears throat> again a little bit last season platinum reward reduction came as a surprise to some players seriously so we wanted to make sure that this season's Platinum cost and the rewards are crystal clear. Here's what to expect from Season 3. I've kind of expected them to do an explanation on the changes of the Hunt Pass like they are doing right now in the previous season. That way, nobody was surprised. But yeah, I guess they noticed that some people were not really happy about their changes and how they implemented it uh, of telling us. So yeah, here they are. The Elite Track costs a thousand platinum to unlock. Completing the Elite Track rewards a four hundred platinum. Completing the Basic Track rewards a thousand a hundred platinum. Thus, you can earn a total of five hundred platinum across both tracks. This rebalance of platinum reward means that the Slayer who completes the both Hunt Pass tracks can earn back half of their initial thousand platinum purchase, along with a number of improved rewards in the form of transmogs, cores, and more. Even Slayers who choose not to go Elite can earn currency, with 100 free Platinum scattered across the basic track. This is why I'm a little mad about myself, like, there was 100 Platinum to be earned last season as well. And I, well, yeah, like I said, I was busy with another game, uh, really, really busy. Um, so yeah, I haven't really spent any time actually unlocking, also because I was a little mad, but that's, that's my personal grievance. So yeah, even if you do not want to uh, buy the Elite uh, Hunt Pass, uh, you can still play for it. Uh, you only need to play 10 events before you can actually uh, buy one uh, Platinum uh, track. Or you can use the currency to unlock, uh, well, other stuff. The stuff in the shop, the sell vendor extra sales that you can, uh, uh, well, roll again, I guess you could say. Uh, as we said before, and we'll say again, the Hunt Pass is still a work in progress. And we will, we still want your feedback. Once it's live and you played with it a bit, we'd love to hear about your experience on the forums and on our Dauntless. Thanks for reading and keep on slaying. Okay, okay. So, yeah, pretty good uh, new Hunt Pass. Really, I, I cannot say anymore. I'm really looking forward to it because I was really looking forward to it. Uh, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fall back on uh, stuff I said before. I said it and it was off my chest back then. 
Uh, now I'm only looking forward to seeing what they are sticking into those hunt passes and actually starting to uh, play for them again to see if I can get uh, my title. Uh, because I don't think I actually had a title yet. There were a lot in the previous one apparently. But yeah, uh, fewer titles, more transmogs. A complete set that you can get at the end. Uh, I think it's I think the boots and then the, the pants and the vest and the head, the hands and whatever you got. They're basically gonna be set along the entire track. Um, if you go elite, you can actually have your uh, repeater transmog. It's the first one that's in the game right now. And then they explained the platinum rewards uh, pretty openly this time. And kind of, um, well, yeah, uh, making sure that everybody knows what to expect. Okay, so those were the patch notes and those were the overhauls for the new hunt pass called Overgrowth. So yeah, those were the patch notes and those uh, that was the look into the new hunt pass that we're gonna get. The snow is gonna fade away as they talked about it. We're gonna have to wait a year again before we can see this beautiful scenery. But I expect the new hunt pass and the new overhaul of how the city is gonna look is gonna be no less different and it's gonna be as beautiful as the previous ones are. Hope you enjoyed the patch notes and I'll see you guys tomorrow when... Well, when I'll probably record the new set, uh, the new behemoths, the new weapons, and check out what they brought in this new patch, of course. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.